Hello, my name is Jules, and I'm an eighth grader from Westside Middle School. Disturb the silence. And this is my poem, Dysphoria. It's funny how they say I'm too feminine. It's funny how they say I can't be masculine, yet still say I'm not feminine enough. It's so funny how they say I can't be masculine, yet constantly mistake me for a man when I am one. You're a girl, I'm a boy. You can't be a boy, I am. I thought you were a girl, but I am one, too. But you're hardly a girl. Notice how they say hardly. My chest is the hardly they're speaking of. I see your stares, and I know I switch bathrooms to feel more comfortable. Why are you the one complaining? Most of the time, they can't even tell. Thanks to my androgynous face, I can sum up blend in to the human race and just be OK. But not really OK. A lot of people don't understand this word, dysphoria. But the ones who do ask me about it, expecting my answer to be clear, understanding when it happens on boy days, but on girl days, wondering if it's there. Because on girl days, I feel this type of loneliness. Like on those days, there's so Something missing. You feel normal, but the fact you know you're not dysphoria. It's weird to wake up every morning and stand in the mirror and see many different people. Some days seeing a lost girl, yet such a beautiful boy. Other days seeing a broken boy, yet such a pretty girl. Clothes and hair, one of the most gender-oriented things in this binary world. It's funny how in a world that defines the control I possess, I can change my gender with nothing but a simple jacket switch. I had my hair cut in such a way where you couldn't always tell if it was a girl's short style or a guy's longer style. I flip it side to side sometimes to show the different sides of myself. What would you like to order, sir? Excuse me, ma'am. Hey, dude. Sorry, miss. Come here, boys. Come here, boys. And Julia, a little change in this life of sameness, a little control in a time of disorganization, except people hate the fact that change means different. Little gender fluid me trapped in a world split down the middle by blue and pink. Little dysphoric me standing in between bathroom signs just to think dysphoria. I feel like a glitch in and out of genders, in and out of identities. I've always related to Vanellope Von Tweets because she always thought there was more to her than what people meet. Yet her code was telling her to be someone else than she was. I always knew I was more than a girl, but the world told me my body was my gender. Ever have those people who think gender identity and sexual preference are the same thing as if who you date determined who you were? Brainwashed traditional minds believed if I loved a girl, I was a guy. And if I loved a guy, I must be a girl. But just because I make you confused doesn't mean you have to question his pronouns to try and figure out mine. You can think of me however you want, but don't misgender him. You don't understand how long he'll sit in front of the mirror questioning his existence just because of one single incorrect word in a certain sentence. The feelings in your heart distorted by how my body looks in mirrors and charts, that's dysphoria. <laughs>